Welcome to the Art of Orange Hat. I'm your host, Orange Hat, and in today's video, I have this TIE Fighter model kit from Hobby Lobby. It comes with a few instructions, some stickers, and two ships, but we're only assembling one today. The first step is to remove the molds from the plastic, and then we're going to remove the model parts from the molds. After removing all the parts, the next step is to sand any excess plastic left over from removing the parts from the mold. We're going to assemble the ship and add a dab of glue for this little piece that refuses to stay put. And then snap the kit together. It comes with a stand, but we won't be using the whole thing. We're only going to be using the part that actually holds up the ship. After a successful test flight, the next step is to move on to sketching out the Star Wars logo. Since I use coffee cups as the exterior for the dioramas, I also make the subject matter from the cups so the curve of the paper fits naturally with the other pieces. Now that the sketch is complete, we're going to move on to inking and coloring in all the letters. Next, using an X-Acto knife, we're gonna cut all the letters out. Then we're going to repeat that process again because we didn't have enough room on the last cup for the last few letters. After placing the letters aside, we'll get to work on the background. Since it's set in the void of space, we're going with black and making two identical mirrored pieces. Then we're going to make two less identical pieces for the background. Once we have all of our background pieces cut out, we're going to grab a white gel pen and start adding all the stars. I really wanted to go with the space warp effect, like when the ships go through hyperdrive. So I added lines converging on a vanishing point that I placed in the middle square. Once the warp effect and stars are complete, we're going to glue the background into place. Then we're going to color the edges of the letters to give them a more polished look. 
Next, we're gonna take these strips of plywood and cut them down to about a centimeter so that we can glue them on the back of the letters. Next, we're going to glue the letters to the cup so we can sketch out the outline. Once we've finished sketching and cutting out the outline, we'll set the logo aside so that we can paint the entire cup black. Once we're done painting that, we'll set that aside to dry and begin working on the diorama for the model ship. The first step is to cut open a window and use this panel to cut into two strips which we'll use to make an opening that will come in handy later. Off camera I spray painted a gray base coat primer on the inside of the cup to help the paint adhere better and give it more of a vibrant color. We'll repeat the process of painting the panels and the cup black as well. Next, we're going to draw and cut out a few planets to use as details in the background. Next, we're going to use some watered down white paint and a paintbrush to sprinkle some stars in and around the outsides of the cups and on the panels. Next, we can begin painting the ship. Off camera, the ship also got a gray base coat as well and now that it's dry we can start painting on all the details we're going to start with the panels of the outside of the ship and then after remembering that the ship actually comes apart we can take it apart to make painting a lot easier and we're going to tape off the parts that we've painted after they've dried so we can clean up any lines and give the ship a coat of metallic paint We're going to set the ship aside to dry and begin working on assembling the first cup for the Star Wars logo. The wooden strips wouldn't stick with the hot glue, so I had to take them off and attach the logo directly to the cup. Next, we're going to remove the tape and then do a wash of dark gray paint and paint thinner. And that'll seep into the recesses and then we'll dab away any of the excess and then we'll go in with a white dry brush to help bring out any raised details. Next, we're gonna grab a battery pack and some red LEDs to add to the diorama. This is what the space between the two panels is gonna be for. Now you might notice in the background that the model is currently sitting unfinished and undone, and that's because I recorded it out of order, and that's not important. Right now I'm going to solder the wires together and then cut out an opening at the bottom of the cup for the battery pack. Next we're going to solder the LEDs to the battery pack to close the loop and then glue everything into place nice and neatly at the bottom of the cup. Now it's time to assemble the background. We're gonna start by adding the panels in.
then we're going to add the planets and we're going to do them one by one and add a few of those pieces of plywood that we had from earlier to give it a nice layered effect. And we're going to take that piece from the stand and we're going to add some stars to it to help it blend in with the background. Now we're going to take our X-Acto knife and cut an opening and glue it into place. Our final step is to add the tops and move on to the reveal. I'd like to take this time to thank all of my wonderful patrons, Janae, Marcus, and John Sandman. If you'd like to join the Patreon, the link is in the description. What kind of cereal do you want to eat? My favorite cereal. I bet you want. How did you know I was going to say that? Because you always want to eat marshmallow cereal. Please. <laughs>